In this video, I will be showing you how to set up an inbound route if you have your calls coming in on a PRI or a SIP trunk or something of that nature where it's sending you seven digits. Maybe they're sending you four digits, but they're not the same digits as the extensions that you have set up and you need to be able to route those calls to the correct internal extensions. To do that, you'll log into, into your PB at Zach Sangoma. Then you'll go to Modules and then you'll go to Inbound Routes. I'll take a moment for this module to open. In the Inbound Routes module, you'll want to click Add Inbound Route. And then in the Inbound Route, you'll want to set up a few options. The first one you'll want to do is give it a description. I like to set it to the number that's coming in. So for this test, we'll just do a 555-5555. The next option you'll need to set is the DID number. <clears throat> this number is the number that is coming in, the number that the telco is sending you. So if I, from the outside, call your phone number and it's 555-5555, and that's what the telco is sending you to your internal call control server then that's what will need to be here if it's a four digit extension that's going to be sent over then you'll need to do the four digits whatever is being sent to you from the call from the telco is what will need to be in this box so the, for our purposes our extension is five our number is five 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 that is what we'll put in here the next one is the caller id box number we'll leave that number blank that one that box is if you wanted to route calls based on a person calling in. So my, say my cell phone number is 5565566. Then that call, and I want to route all calls that come in from 5565566 to a specific internal extension or an IVR or something like that then you could do that with the caller ID number and leave the DID number blank maybe. Um, or you could even get that granular if you wanted to. But for our part video, for regular inbound calls, we'll leave the caller ID number box blank. Then we'll go down. The next thing you'll want to set for just generic inbound calls. Now some of these options you can get into more depth and set up for different things but for just normal inbound calls we just want to send this number to another extension so we'll select choose one here at set destination we'll select extensions and then select our extension number that we want to send the call to and that will send calls that come in from the telco for 555-5555 come in looking that way they come into Sangoma Sangoma sees it and says okay this is my inbound route for that. I'm going to send that call to extension 4001. Extension 4001 should ring. And click Submit. <clears throat> and then, of course, as always, once you've made a change, if the Apply Config button shows up, you need to click the Apply Config button. And that will take a minute or so to process and set up the new information in Sangoma. And you'll be good to go with your inbound route. That is how you do that, and I thank you for your time.